Stand by. Four, three. Good morning, Greenspring. Today is Tuesday, September 8th, 2015, and today we are continuing on our Telly celebration. Stay tuned. host Margaret O'Mara and we'll be going back to school with a 2006 Telly Award winner um, about our tutors and then we will bring our award winner about our scholars from May 2006 to you. So stay tuned for both of those. My name is Frances Barbieri, and I came to here from New Jersey. I decided to join a mentoring group, and I have enjoyed it immensely. The children are just precious. They're smart, they're warm-hearted, loving, and it's just been a complete joy. The best part of my move is being with these children. In fact, the first day at school, the teacher asked me if I would mind if the children asked me some questions because they, she wanted the children to know me a little bit more. So I said to her, I don't mind at all, it would be a pleasure. So I sat in a chair and I had 23 students on the floor. And one at a time, they raised their hand and asked me all kinds of questions. Did I have any children? What were their names? Where did I live when I was a little girl? Uh, what did I not have as a little girl growing up that they have now? And at first I couldn't imagine what it would be. And then all of a sudden I thought television. <laughs> I never had television. So anyway, they couldn't get over that, that I had a life without television. So anyway, uh, they kept on asking me questions. One little boy raised his hand and said, how old are you, Mrs. Barbieri? <laughs> so the teacher turned to me and she said, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> but anyway, it was a complete delight. And since then, I have been in such a close uh, contact with these children in that they uh, whenever they see me, they come up to me and hug me. I was sick one week and couldn't go, and they sent me a get well card that they made themselves, and on it a drawing of me, and I use a cane. Some of the children remembered the cane, and some did not. But it was just precious, and the things that they would say in, the, in this letter that they wrote to me was just I, I just treasure these letters. And then another occasion for Christmas, they reached, sent me a Christmas card. And the teacher put all of these cards of all 23 students in an envelope and mailed it to me. So I really had a wonderful, wonderful experience. And as I said before, it's the best thing that's happened to me since I came to Virginia and Green Spring. I'm Charles Stein. I have been here for the full school year, and last year I worked also at the uh, at another school. As a matter of fact, I worked two schools to, uh, this year too. Uh, I find working with children, uh, particularly children who need some kind of assistance, of uh, a great joy working with them and watching their progress over the course of a school year. And uh, I, I just en enjoyed doing that. And I've been doing this for a number of years since I retired. Oops. And uh, 
I, uh, previously I worked in, in some other schools. I worked in the ESL program for about four years at Marshall High School. And then these two schools, it, it's been a joy working, working with these uh, kids and seeing their prog progress. Uh, I'll be back next year. I would encourage anyone at Green Springs to join our crew and work with these children. Uh, it's nothing but joy. I, I guarantee it. And uh, I was able last year to, to recruit several of the people who are now tutoring in various schools. And I hope to do some more uh, this summer so we can fill all the possible positions that we have open. My name is uh, Ruth Kelso, and I enjoy tutoring. I found out about it because there was a, a, something on the bulletin board, and I thought, oh my, this is something that I would really be interested in. I enjoy working with children because I did work in the, with children in the past. And uh, it was something that I look forward to every single week. I worked with first, second, third, and fourth grade students at Hunter Valley School. We had one half hour with the with each child, and it was wonderful. Each the first graders were just so enthusiastic, and he would just start writing and writing right away. I have to get this done and this done, and he would be d done in no time flat. He would be finished his work, and the same with the second grader, the third grader, and the fourth grader. They all enjoyed coming, and we certainly enjoyed having them. And I really think it was a help to them also because sometimes they didn't know how to do different problems in math especially. And also in reading, some of them didn't need help. But the older ones, uh, the fourth grader, uh, she did not need any help at all. She was from Afghanistan. And uh, she was so intelligent and, and just so sweet. All of them were so, uh, so very good and so precious and so thoughtful. They were so thoughtful. And we really miss not uh, going to see them. I'm just not going there uh, for the rest of the year, and I'm looking forward to going again next year. Uh, I believe it will start in October. So it's really uh, an uplift for me to go to visit with these children and to try to help them. I think maybe uh, other women or other men. We only had one man uh, to come to help out, and it would be very good for the children and probably uh, some of the men might even enjoy working with the little children. I'm sure they would. And maybe they can uh, uh, volunteer next year, come to Hunt, uh, Hunter, Hunt Valley uh, Elementary School and help out with the children. They really do need help, and the teachers need help also. Because, you know, it's a pretty crazy world out there, and we have to really uh, uh, help them to become good adults. principal here at Hunt Valley School and we have been very pleased with our Green Spring mentors here at Hunt Valley. Last week I was talking to a student and she was telling me how she absolutely loves having her mentor help her with her work but her favorite part is when they finish the work and she gets to just chat with her mentor. So we have really benefited from a lot of wisdom and a lot of experiences that they have brought to our school. They've been a smiling face. I've seen kids hugging their mentors as they arrive and there have been lots of many opportunities that our students and our staff have benefited from. So we're grateful, we've enjoyed having them and we look forward to continuing the program. Hi, I'm Pat Small, I'm the assistant principal at Hunt Valley. Our Green Spring mentors are really important to us here. They're important to not only the teachers because they provide the additional support for children who are having problems in reading and math, but they're so important for the children. These children come from, uh, from academic places that aren't always successful. So when they are able to have a grandparent type figure help them be supportive and really show care and concern for them, they really do much better. I've talked to some of the children, I've talked to their teachers, and they are so pleased that we have Green Spring mentors. They have been delightful to work with and we are really looking forward to next year as well. Hello, my name is Mary Berry and I'm um, acting as mentor coordinator this year for our Green Spring mentoring program. It's been an exciting year. Um, 
It's, this is a brand new program here at Hunt Valley, and it, it has gone way beyond what we thought it might be. We thought we might have maybe six mentors, and we've had uh, 15 at times, uh, 10 to 15. It's just been a, a great program. We have kids who are actually asked if they can come down on a given day when maybe someone doesn't show up or someone's absent. We have kids who say, hey, can I come? And um, we, it's just been priceless. Um, uh, the wisdom that, that is shared uh, from our mentors, um, I, I think many of our kids don't have the opportunity to always be close to their grandparents and, and to have that, uh, that kind of relationship with someone. And I, I see that as most important, I guess, for me as a counselor. Um, I just really feel that that bonding, that relationship is number one. And the academics are also very important because that's what we are about here at school, is, is learning. And um, there's great, great learning occurring here by use of this program. And I hope and envision that it will continue next year. I know most of our mentors have said that they would love to come, um, come back for another year. And um, we're, we're very excited about that. And we do thank you, Green Spring, for all the, um, all the many hours you've put in to help us here at Hunt Valley. And um, I enjoy or can't wait to work with you next year. My name is Claire Jacobs, and I'm doing it because I reached the point in my life where I felt like I wanted to do something for someone else, and this just came to my attention, and I tried it, and I loved it. I love it. I've gotten wonderful response and reaction from the children I dealt with, deal with. And it's a good, tremendous satisfaction. I'm Gertrude Gordon. I've come to Green Spring about the middle of December. And uh, I, my background is education in Arlington. I was administrative assistant to the assistant superintendent for personnel, helped hire teachers, and of course, I retired from there and education is my love and when I heard that there were volunteers at Hunt Valley I immediately uh, made myself known to Edna and I've been coming and I just love it. Hello, I'm Edna Brill and I am here to talk about the tutoring program which I helped Teresa Burkowski, who was our original uh, volunteer coordinator start four years ago when we had only Saratoga Elementary School. And um, at that time I had uh, nine tutors going with me once a week. We have grown to where we have two shuttle bus full of tutors and I think we have 16 on one bus and 18 on another bus and go to the school once a week again. Plus we do three schools where um, tutors can drive themselves and set up their own time for doing some work with the children. And so those schools are West Springfield, Garfield, and Springfield Estates. So actually the tutoring program has kind of grown by leaps and bounds and I think it's because the tutors get probably more fun out of it than the children do, but the children also enjoy having us come because we kind of are their stand-in grandparents, I suppose. Um, the principal at Saratoga's told us attendance is always up on Thursdays when the kids know that they're going to have tutors. I think most of the people um, enjoy working with the children on a one-to-one -one basis. Some of us do classroom work where we help the struggling kid with his math or whatever he may be doing. Um, the best part is when the kid just says, can we talk? And you hear 
um, stuff about their life and how much problem many of the children have English as their second language and often have trouble learning our very complicated English language. So much of our work is done with that sort of thing. Then we do math cards, flashcards. Um, I had a third grade class that was doing multiplication tables and they couldn't go to the next table until they learned the last one, so it was a struggle each week about who was beating who into getting to the next math table. Um, all sorts of fun things that the children um, need some help on, and we're there to help. We have more room for tutors. Um, I just have to stress, you do not have to be a teacher. That's not the big thing. You're not really teaching the children. You're helping them, and you're just a special person to them, which is the biggest contribution you can make. flowers come to, come to play, and I told many of you when you came in that there's a reason for the flowers and the smiley faces. But um, Mrs. Spitzer is a teacher who works at a school, and every year her principal gives her a package, her principal gives her a package of seeds to plant, to, to water, to grow, and I'm going to start from there, or start here. At the end of the summer, Mr. Merrick, the principal, walks down the hall to Mrs. Mrs. Spitzer's room and gives her a packet of seeds. Mrs. Spitzer consults her calendar and plans her daily schedule. She checks her tools. She makes sure the soil is right, light, and well-drained, with plenty of room for sprouting. Then Mrs. Spitzer plants the seeds. She waters them, she feeds them, and she makes sure that they get plenty of sun. The seeds begin to sprout. Mrs. Spitzer watches them closely. She checks daily for weeds and for pests. She knows that different plants need different things and that each plant has its own shape. Some of the plants grow quickly, pushing upward, eager and patient. Some grow more slowly, unfolding themselves bit by bit. Some plants sprout thin and tall. Some are bushy and widespreading. Some are bold and showy. They are bright colored, saying, look at me. Some are silvery and quiet, the color of earth. A few are like wildflowers and will grow anywhere you plant them. And some need mm -hmm. gentle care, a special watching over. And that comes into play what we see your relationship. <laughs> As the seasons change, Mrs. Spitzer tends her garden. And then the year is over, and her job is done. But the plants will keep growing and curling their stems, stretching their leaves outward and showing their faces to the sun. And it's because of you, both teachers and mentors, that we see our children grow. Mrs. Spitzer puts away her tools, her daily calendar, and her plan book. Soon another year will start, and Mr. Merrick will once again walk down the hall with a packet of seeds, <laughs> from Mrs. Spencer. She will dust off her tools, till her soil, and a new garden will begin. I can, quick as a cat, quicker than sand, quicker than that. I want to be young, want to be beautiful, making a small, beautiful sound.
as a shark, quick as a blink, quick as a thought, quicker than you think. I wanna be scarce, out of sight. I am light's biggest fan. Albert Einstein was never good at Treading the space just above ground Quick as I can, quick as a cat Quicker than sand, quicker than that I wanna be young, wanna be beautiful Making a smile with that sound
went to Edison High School. Robert E. Lee. Robert e. Lee. Mountain State University. It's in Beckley, West Virginia. Robert E. Lee High School. West Springfield High School. Like Braddock Secondary School. Penn South County Secondary School. At West Springfield High School. I go to Hayfield. Is he waiting? In the fall, I plan on going to George Mason University. Going to Boston University. University of Miami. To the University of North Carolina. Attending North, Northern Virginia Community College. Colorado State University. In the Commonwealth University. See you, Mary Mount. I'm Lisa Sherman, and I'm a senior at West Springfield High School. Next year, I will be going to the University of North Carolina in Wilmington. I plan to study marine biology and maybe do a little real estate. North Carolina. The school is right by the beach, and um, to do marine biology, you kind of have to be close to the ocean, so it was a good choice for me. It's still kind of close to home, so I won't be too far from my parents if I need them. And it's overall just a beautiful campus, and I'm really excited to go there. I've been here for three years. I started off as a waitress, but I was promoted about a year and a half ago to service coach, and I really like this job because it gives you a lot of opportunities to be promoted and I like to work with people my own age, um, and I really like the managers here, and it's just a fun job. I would like to thank the residents for giving me this opportunity to continue my education, and it's really going to help me pay for my college because it's going to be so expensive, and I really do appreciate all the opportunities that I've had here, so it's been great. Hi, I'm Zora Amin. I attend Robert Lee High School. I plan on attending Marymount University, and I would like to major in business administration. I wanted to go to Marymount because they're offering me a scholarship for $3,000 each year, so because of my academic skill. So, and I also want to be majoring in business administration because my dad owns a small business, and I've helped him out to run his business, and I've loved it ever since. Um, I've been at Greenspring, it'll be four years, end of June. Um, I worked at the Ca Potomac Cafe. I used to work at Woodland Skies. Um, I transferred over here because I had some back problems, so it was, over e it was easier to work over here. And um, I love my coworkers, my managers, and everyone, that, every building that I work with, I've known and I love them. I would like to thank the residents for giving me such a great opportunity. Um, I love how they've made my job easier and made it so wonderful to work here at Greenspring. Hi, my name is Azari Kidane. I go to Hayfield High School. I plan to go to uh, George Mason in the fall. I chose to go to George Mason because it's close to my house and I wasn't trying to pay for a um, room board and uh, it saved me, saved me some money. I plan to, well, my major I think it's going to be a business, business management. I chose it because I'm somewhat undecided, but I want to go into school with somewhat of an idea of what I'm trying to do. Um, I've been working at Green Springs for almost a year now. Um, I'm a waiter. Um, the scholarship helped me come to Green Springs because I don't have a lot of college money, so the, the scholarship pretty much brought me here. I'd like to thank all the Green Springs residents for uh, this opportunity to get this scholarship. and. Uh, it helped a lot. It's helping a lot. And um, just thank you very much. Welcome back, Green Spring. I hope you enjoyed that. That was um, two award winners from 2006. And now we have some announcements for you. Our special programming will be the Steve Guback Travelogue at 2 and 8 p.m. today and Village Church at 5 and 9 p.m. On Wednesday on Village in Motion, we will have a show um, about Medicare and You with Betsy Boyle and Nikki H Nikki Halton. Our feature programming will be the Greenspring Fellowship at 5 and 9 p.m. And now we have a brain tease for you. Brain tease is rearrange the letters in the words new door to make one word and our answer will be shown tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I hope you have a wonderful day. Your